Hello everyone, welcome back to Dominion. We've got an almost completely brand new kingdom here, and a brand new guest. Now this is Crimeup. I've played so Dominion. We, yeah, we, we've actually played in real life a couple of times. Yeah, I played with played with uh, Nita King several times, and I uh, I managed to actually win once or twice, but that's uh, very few and far between. Well, things may work in your favor this time. We've got a very interesting kingdom this time called The Plot Thickens. And it's made, like I said, of almost all new cards. We've got the Ironworks back from the last time. And some really interesting mechanics, some of which I think fit a little better in some of the later expansions, but they were put into the second edition here. Starting off, we got Lurker. This is a second edition card. You get an extra action when you play it, and then you get your choice. Either trash an action card from the supply, or gain an action card from the trash. Now, interestingly enough, I said last time I was going to talk more about the mechanic of choice, and this is a pretty good example. Let's say you have a Lurker in your hand, you want to get rid of it for whatever reason, but you don't want to trash any of the action cards in the supply. Maybe piles are getting really low and your opponent's ahead. You could choose to gain an action card from the trash, even if there are no action cards in the trash. That just means that nothing happens. You're never restricted from a choice based on your ability or inability to do the thing you choose. Once you choose, you have to do it as best you can, but if you can't do it, you're in the clear. There's another card coming up in the set where that's even more important. And the card text, I think, in the second edition has actually changed to make it clear you can pick something you can't do. But I'll get to that in a bit. Next up, Pawn. Really simple card. You get two out of plus one card, plus one action, plus one buy, or plus one coin. So the typical use for it is to get an extra card and an extra action. But if you're getting near the end of your turn and you don't need the cards, you could always take a buy and a coin, or a card and a coin. Pretty much whatever you want to do with it. Then you get Steward. Really neat card for such a low cost. You either get plus two cards, or plus two coins, or trash two cards from your hand. Then we get to one of the reasons people don't like Intrigue as much the Swindler. He gives you two coins, and then everybody else has to trash the top card of their deck. You get to pick a card from the kingdom with the same cost as what they trashed, and they gain that card. Early on in the game, this is great for turning your opponent's coppers into curses. Once the curses run out, you might end up turning your opponent's curses back into coppers. But by that time, the damage has probably been done. I'm not a big fan of Swindler, but I always play with it just because you don't want to be the only one who doesn't have one. Then we got an interesting card in Conspirator. This one also gives you two coins, but if you've played three or more actions, you also get plus one card and plus one action. Now there's a slight distinction there between actions and action cards. Most of that comes into play in the later expansions, but there is a pair of cards that we know of where that's important. If you play a Throne Room and then a Conspirator, you got your Throne Room for the first action, Conspirator plays once for your second action, so you just get the plus two coins, then you play the Conspirator again, that's your third action, so it gives you the two coins, a card, and an action. And every Conspirator you play after that is another cantrip that gives you two coins. They're really good if you can stack them. Then we got Mining Village, kind of standard village plus. You get the plus one card, plus two actions of a normal village, but then you can immediately trash the Mining Village for two extra coins. It's a question of what do you need more, the village for future turns, or the money now. Then Secret Passage is another second edition card. This one gives you the laboratory style effect, plus two cards, plus one action, but then you take a card from your hand and put it somewhere in your deck. 
You can choose where you want to put it. You can count cards. You can put it right on top. You can put it on the bottom. In this game, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot that you can do with that, but it combos really nicely with cards like Vassal. So then you can put an action card on top and know that that's what you're going to discard. There will be other combinations with it later, but we'll get to those in future games. Now, probably one of the worst attacks in all of Dominion. Torturer. This guy gives you three extra cards, and then everybody else has to make a choice. Discard two cards, or gain a curse, putting it in their hand. The good news is, if you get hit with lots of torturers in a turn, you can gain a couple of curses, and then you'll have plenty of cards to discard. And once the curses run out, you'll always want to pick gain a curse, because that won't do anything. Of course, if you do end up discarding your entire hand, you don't have to take a curse. You can just choose to discard more cards that you don't have. And finally, the trading post. Trash two cards from your hand, and if you did have two cards and trash them, then you get a silver into your hand. So you can turn anything into silver. Curses, coppers, estates, other trading posts. So that's the kingdom. Any questions? Sounds like fun. All right. Got any strategic thoughts or want to get right into the game? Um, I'm thinking stacking, stacking, uh, which one was it? The conspirator would be nice if you have enough of them, but getting enough of them is going to take some time because you, you don't start out with enough coins to buy the, uh, Four, cost four card very often. Well, true, but you've got Ironworks for that. And Conspirator itself does give you a couple extra coins, even if you don't have enough actions in play. Yeah. Alright, so. I think uh, let's get to it. So I ended up with three to start with. Mm -hmm. I'll start with a swindler. Might as well. And I'm going to go for an ironworks. I think it's the obvious choice. Yep. Sounds like a good plan. And it's a tough choice between Swindler and Steward, but I'm going to start with the Steward. Double Swindler. Okay, I can tell I'm going to be hurting. Hmm. I don't think I want another action right now. Let me just grab a silver. Let's do grab a conspirator. And mining board. Yeah, Conspirator versus Mining Village at this point is kind of tough. I think I'll go for the Conspirator. And I'm definitely playing the Steward, but what do I do with it? Got an Estate and I think a Copper left. I'll just draw them and get the mining village. So, you have one of those. Cool. It's a copper. I don't have to trash. Grab a trading post. Well, 
let's see. I'm going to take another mining village and let me yeah I'll get rid of the coppers take a pawn Grab silver. Use a conspirator for what it's what it's for. Yep. Looks like a good draw. Pretty much grew pretty much all of my actions in one turn, I think. I may be bitten by this next turn, but Well, I'm not sure I wanted that conspirator in my next hand anyway. So I gotta pick one that costs that costs exactly four then, right? Exactly four. And you didn't want the conspirator, so you can have one back. Well, I didn't want it in my next hand. I mean, it's a good card. But really I think all the fours here are pretty good. I'm gonna need another silver. Trash a couple of estates. And I'm going to try the secret passage just for giggles. Yeah, it's a good card, but so is torture. Hey, there we go. Except I don't expect you're going to give me one of those actions. No, I think you'll just have to have an estate back. Alas. You just deplete that pile for faster. Yep, well, let's see. I don't think what all is going to be in my next hand. I should know this. I'm pretty... well... Yeah, I think there's still a mining village in there. I want a mining village. And let me just trash a couple of cards and call it done. I can kinda track my deck. If I do this right, I'll be able to draw pretty much all of mine this turn. Yeah, it's always good. Steward, huh? Mm-hmm. Have another one back. Cool. Just deplete that pile a little faster too. All right, we'll get some of those out there. Yeah, I think I need to hang on to them. Take another one. And I got a bunch of coins. Let's get another torture.
No, my pawn. You can have an estate back. And unfortunately, yeah, that leaves me with no plus buy. Leaves me with uh, eleven, but one buy. Mm-hmm. Could get an eleven dollar pawn. I am tired, but I'm not not that tired. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I mean, pawn is the only plus buy that we've got. Yeah, I I don't need to blow up my villages. Uh, let me get rid of a couple of those estates you've been throwing my way. Uh, I think I think I just want to get another torture. My next turn's not going to be that great. Yeah, the interface for putting cards back in your deck can be kind of weird, and the log always says top deck's a card regardless of where you put it. Yeah, I haven't seen that before, and I'm just trying to figure out the interface. You trash your copper, so I have a curse back. Believe it or not, I'm pleased with that. You would be. Well, I mean, not so much with gaining a curse, but that particular shuffle. Don't think I want any more cards. I just want to get that pawn back. You're going to make it very hard for me to blow up my mining villages when I can't get enough of them. Yeah, see, that's the fun part about torture, is that it's not a discard down to three, so if you get hit with them multiple times, it hits you every time. Uh, well, okay, so that's my deck. Mm. Yeah, let me grab a conspirator and draw it and play it. Get rid of a couple cards I don't want. And get a coin and a buy. So I got plenty of money. What do I want to get with it? Uh, let's see. Definitely last mining village, and better get a torture. Interesting combination. Well, it's the actions and the draw. Yep.
grab a torture for at least some defense. Yep, got to strike back eventually. There's my torture. So that's the deck. And once again, I have the opportunity to gain and play something. Definitely want to get that guy out there. And do I need to get rid of this estate? I think I'll just take the money this time. So clearly I'm a little short of a double province turn. Well, let me get a single. And I think now it's swindler time. Now that you got some cards in your deck worth trashing. Seven. Mm That's all the coaches. All right. Yep, you can no longer be shut down. All right. Unfortunately, it does make you choose gain a curse every time. Too bad I can't discard just one card. Yeah, that is unfortunate. All right, let's conspirator swindle. Lose an ironworks. At this point, I'm not really sure the Ironworks is going to help you all that much. You can have another one. Let me think about this here. I can get 16 coins. Yeah, I think that's kind of what I have to do. Let's get rid of those. Get my provinces. He gets rid of two of the curses. Yeah. They told you that pond was good. Yeah, that's one of the hand where I didn't have a whole, a whole lot of coins to buy something more expensive. Mm-hmm. I would have had five otherwise. So it's either go for another torture or get get the uh, plus buy from the pond. I don't think you got to gain your curse here. No, and I. I thought it prompted. I thought it was prompting me for my turn. It was prompting me for do I want to discard anything? 
So I was trying to play the card that I was going to play first. Mm-hmm. So I can't win this turn, but I can come pretty close. You may not win this turn, but you can not lose this turn. You can make it so you can't lose. Yeah, I mean, I've got some options. I'm pretty sure your deck, well, I mean, your deck doesn't have the capacity to get three provinces. Yeah. Oh, I can win this turn. Have a conspirator. And I'll take the other two. That was fun. Yeah. So all all new cards I haven't seen before. Uh, new to me anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm thinking about whether I got time for another. Probably if you're up for it. You got time for one more. All right. Same cards? Yep. Have another go and see if maybe having a different angle on strategies will change how the game turns out. Well, it certainly gave me the uh, best starting hand I've had for a long time. Mm hmm. Torture is certainly an interesting starting choice. I'm going to go for the same opening. Oh no, my estates! Hmm. Yeah, I run into the same issue that I had last time, worrying about too much terminal collision. This time I'll go with a swindler, though. have enough. So you want a card action but didn't have any other actions? I was hoping it would draw the other action. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm definitely taking the silver this time. And I'm gonna go for the mining village. much as I like trashing, I need to get into the torture game before you get too far ahead of me on that score. Oh, there go my estates again. Let's go for the Conspirator, and the first curse is yours. Hmm. 
and grab another ironworks. That actually probably wasn't my best move. Uh, no, I'm going to keep my village. And I think now it's secret passage time. like doing it. Didn't hurt me too much. Uh, let's see, steward number two, silver. another village. Clearly need one. And you can have a trading post. And second thought, probably a duchy would have been a better pick. And a trading post is actually fairly useful. Mm -hmm. Especially with all the curses coming in. Yeah, but a duchy's three points. Almost always have two estates when you play that. Seven. Hmm. Yeah, the silvers are not working out for me. of interesting options. Let me start with Secret Passage. See what all is going to happen. Nothing particularly interesting. Stick that on top. Let me grab it back. Uh, yeah, you can have that estate back. I've got a ludicrous amount of money. You can buy that pawn for 12. Yeah, I'm tempted. Should have been buying it with some of my threes instead of getting all these freaking silvers. I definitely need another torture. Slightly unpleasant. Hmm. Actually, let me just take the curse. I 
can have that estate back. Well, no, I'm almost thankful I didn't get a pawn, because it probably would have been turned into an estate. What do I want to do with 10? Yeah, probably the best choice. Oh, I'm gonna get those pawns I've been talking about. Ooh. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and trash with this one. And then I'll take the coins. Pawn number three. Yeah, pawn number three. Seven again. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted to see. Mm, yeah, I'll go ahead and get some extra dollars out there and get another village. Definitely tossing that. Yeah, I think I need to go this way while there are still curses left. Mining village. Mm hmm. Yeah, good thing to get that off the top of my deck. I have an iron works back. Excellent. Hooray! It's all money! Glad I didn't draw a dead mining village. That would have sucked. Alright, is it gold time? Nah, I need another mining village. That was interesting. Well, those are the only two cards in your hand. I thought there were two coppers. Hmm. Misread. Went on do? Yeah. No, that's all right. I just misread the page. So I'll just get that really expensive pawn we've been talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you ain't having to spend your $2 hands on a pawn. It's more like a uh, six dollar hand on a pawn. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm not sure that what I get aside from the action is all that relevant at this point. Yeah, that was definitely a good thing to have. So you've lost a mining village. Have an ironworks on me. And definitely getting another torture.
Well, this doesn't really hurt all that much. See if I can't get something to draw my entire deck at once. Often a good plan, and we've definitely got the cards here to do it. Hmm. Give me that curse. All right. You got me. I'll discard this time. Silver, huh? Mm hmm. That is not up to. You just have to have that silver right back. Didn't quite draw the entire deck. Yeah, we got like a dozen cards still outstanding. So now I think is the time we start looking for potential win conditions on both sides of the table, really. Okay. Sure, this is fine. Let me slap that at the bottom of the deck. I can get some good stuff going here. But what do I really want, and how much of a threat can you potentially pose? I think, as much as I hate having them in my deck, I'm going to grab a couple of silvers so I can get a province. Just to pad the lead a tiny bit. I didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do, but... Hmm. Yeah, I think the curse is probably not so bad for my deck at this point. Now I look at the possibility that I can just win outright here. play enough torturers to cause me to deplete the curses? I don't think I can do that. Hmm. I 
think the question is, do I even want to play anything at all here? I probably want to do this. And then we go ahead and take the coin and the buy. Pretty sure I'm safe grabbing those. I don't think you have the capacity to empty another pile and score eight points. Now, with what I got left in my hand, I'd be hard pressed to do any of that. Mm hmm. Silver back in your deck. You know how much I hate silvers. Yeah. Well, at least in this game. No, I don't want to end with a negative score, so let's go to zero. Okay. Uh, if I had a plus buy, I could win the game here. But I don't. And I think it's way too close for me to gain a curse. And that puts me in some real danger. So let me grab. I'll take and ironworks. That should be pretty safe. Go ahead and get that out there. Of course, that's three actions I didn't want to draw. Hmm. I'm going to take the curse. Well, now I actually have to think. Yeah, all right, I'll discard. I definitely cannot afford to take a curse now. Ugh. Still can't afford it. Too short. Yep.
Hmm. Well, an interesting play. You didn't want to play at all? With what? Oh, I made you discard everything, didn't I? Well, I couldn't afford to take a curse, because then you would have gone province curse and won. Basically, I just lost a whole turn there. It doesn't really matter where I put cards this time, I don't think. Uh, what can I afford to take? Again, I don't see that I really got a whole lot of options here. I have to get the points. Alright, well, I certainly have to start blowing up villages, but... Yeah, basically I've got one shot here. Alright. I'm back in it, almost. Okay, well, I'm going to make the game-winning play that you didn't, and Ironwork's a curse. And by a curse. Would that have been a game-winning play for me? That yeah, been minus... you were three points up. Hmm. You, were, you were three points up for quite a long time until I got to second province. I didn't, didn't see the play. Yeah, the pile-out tends to be kind of tricky to spot. Well, I was trying to, and so, yeah, I was mostly trying to avoid the pile-out. Yeah, when you're ahead, it's good, though. Yeah, I didn't think I'd that's still why be ahead. I, got, I let the piles get dangerously low, and then, yeah, that's why I couldn't take a curse for the torture, because then you would just buy the last curse and win. Normally, I'm happy to take curses if I got a decent hand to go into protect, but... It's my fault. I bought out the mining villages and the torturers. That's probably the longest game we've played as far as number of turns. I think so, yeah. We normally end up in somewhere between 12 and 16. Yeah, they do tend to go a bit faster than that. Yeah. But, like I said, I just couldn't drive it home. I think probably I should have taken the trading post at some point. Turn those curses into something a bit more useful. I definitely should have given you a duchy. Well, it's been fun. 
yeah, it has. Thanks for joining me, yeah. and hope you can come back another time. Yeah, with the uh, school being done for a while, I should have more time available. All right. Well, we'll see all of you for the next video.